Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be Virgo season blessings, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read for every single sign. I will put the timestamps below so that if you don't wanna sit through the whole reading and you just wanna check out your, your particular sign or whoever it is you're cross watching for, the timestamps will be in the description box, box below. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a reading for you guys as we enter Virgo season. Um, as you know, of course, I am a Virgo. So this is a really exciting time for me. A lot of big changes I feel are coming this Virgo season, not just for Virgos, but I feel as though now that we're out of Mercury retrograde, you know, we've got the full moon coming in this weekend, full moon in Pisces. So you might be feeling a little bit of that, you know, emotional energy coming back in i promise you it will more than likely be very very limited to when what you're feeling at that time um and and of course mars goes direct so not only are you going to be feeling charged up fired up but your emotions will be like that fire starter like someone just lit a fire on your ass and you are ready to just keep going keep moving so i'm gonna do just virgo season blessings video i'm going to pull from the angel answers i'm gonna pull a love oracle i'm gonna use the crystal um the crystal unicorn tarot i forgot the actual name of it i'll put it down below i believe that's what it's called the crystal unicorn tarot and the radiant writer if i need to continue um to you know, um, keep pulling cards for you guys. So just going to see what's going to happen for everyone and how to deal with Virgo season. Okay. So I feel that some of you may have the urge to be a little more practical, be a little more stern with certain things. You have a lot of passion, fire energy coming in as well, but you have this need to feel grounded is what I'm going to feel, especially with uh, you know, the full moon in Pisces coming in, you feel as though I need to ground myself, you know, not get so caught up in this emotional energy, but Mars going direct, that's going to be like the fire that's going to light your way, light your path, and it's going to catapult you towards what you need. So let's get started. I'm going to get started with Virgo. Happy birthday to all my Virgos, August, September Virgos. I hope you are having a great birthday or you will be having a great birthday. And let's see what's gonna, what's going on for you guys this Virgo season for all my fellow Virgos, Virgos out there. What is going on for my fellow Virgos during Virgo season? What is the most important message they need? Give me blessings for them. One card for Virgo, please. Communicate clearly. Okay. Let's see what is going on here. Why does Virgo need to communicate clearly? With the crystal unicorn tarot. If you feel as though something has not been working in your favor, maybe someone has done you wrong. You feel as though things have been unfair. Come Virgo season, I feel like you are going to be experiencing a power like you have never felt before. You are going to feel very empowered to make changes in your life, to do the right thing by you. And anyone who has tried to set you back, to put you, look at that, six of pentacles, to push you back instead of moving forward or holding you back, I should feel. Because I feel as though someone maybe tried to anchor you, didn't allow you to move forward. Communicate clearly as to what it is that you want and how you want to move forward this Virgo season. Six of Pentacles is something that is holding you back from the past. It could be someone as well. The Justice card is wanting. You notice the two scales. This is your time. This is your time, Virgo, to find your balance. Cut away what's been weighing down on you, what's been holding you back. I've got cards going like crazy right now. <laughs> Love it. Ace of Pentacles. Those of you that are waiting to hear from a job opportunity, a new job, a promotion. I love it because I'm part of that boat as well. You will have 
that opportunity coming in. However, make sure that you communicate clearly. If you feel that something is not being done right, if you feel as though people are taking unethical approach here, make sure that you find your balance and you have equal give and take, especially when someone tries to offer you this sweet deal of a new job, new opportunity. Look at that. Queen of Wands and Ace of Cups. So you've got two aces here along with the justice card, communicate clearly, and the queen of wands. So because this is Virgo season, I am going to say you are feeling like this queen of wands, very passionate and fiery energy, you know, that's like flowing through you right now. You just, you have this sense of, I know what I want, damn it. I know how I'm going to get there. This is what I need to do. I need people to be on my side or get the fuck out of my way, right? That's how I'm feeling for you, Virgos. I feel that coming in Virgo season, whether it's, you know, your birthday just passed, whether your birthday's coming up, you definitely feel fired up. You're making changes in your life and that's awesome. And so the love oracle you received was consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. So putting this together with your angel blessings here to communicate clearly. You will be blessed with either a job that you love or not only will you have a new beginning in your finances, career, promotion, new business opportunities, new job ventures, new financial ventures, but it will also be either something you love, something that you've been waiting for, but it's also a new opportunity in love. But I also feel that for some of you, it's not even just an opportunity of a new relationship because I do feel that some of you have not been in a relationship for quite some time. This is the time for you to reflect, especially with the full moon in Pisces, for you to reflect as to why you've been single for so long and consider your foundation. How committed are you to this new love? that you are waiting for to come in that possibly hasn't been coming in because you haven't really considered the foundation that you have at this time. Let me move these up a little bit so you can see them better. I hope that's a better view for you. I think this one's a little too far. Sorry, obviously my Virgo OCD is kicking in here. So my fellow Virgos, I know you can relate to that. Give me a thumbs up if you can, because <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, so yeah, I feel really good for a lot of you Virgos. And hopefully me too, because this is feeling like it's going to be really good. You're feeling like a queen, very fiery, passionate energy. It's everything that you've been wanting to work for, wanting to work towards, everything you've been waiting for to come in. It's coming in, baby, let me tell you fired up and you are ready to take that throne. I love how the queen of wands is in between the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. You're golden, baby. Let me tell you for a queen of wands, girl, I just got the chills or boy, whoever you are, Virgos. I just got the chills for the queen of wands to be in between the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. Queen of wands is that very independent, very fiery, passionate person, that queen, who's not afraid to say what she's got to say. Look at her. She's surrounded by sunflowers. She's got this black cat that is like guarding her as if she needs to be guarded, right? She's got this wand that is like, no big deal. No, this whole thing. Yeah, you better watch out. I got the crown here. I'm sitting at my throne. I've been offered this position. I've been offered this cup of love by someone who is going to make me feel like their queen. I've been offered this position where I get to now step into my place, my place, right? My place in society, my place in this job. And I feel that especially with seeing the two scales right above, you are going to find yourself in a much more balanced way this Virgo season. There is something about whatever's going on in the energies for you, whatever is going on, maybe you just feel like, you know what, enough is enough. I'm another year older or another year younger, or maybe you've put your age on pause like I did for many years. 
I just feel as though you are in a much better place coming out of Mercury retrograde. You've cut out so many things. You've let it all fall to the wayside. And what's meant to be there with you and for you will continue. So Virgo, I see a very positive Virgo season for you. New opportunities in finances, in jobs, in career, and in love. So consider your foundation as you move forward. Consider your foundation. I am going to pull one more card for you. Let's see. Angel blessings. Let me have an angel message for Virgos. What message do you have for Virgos? Angel messages for Virgos. One more to close out the reading before we move on to Libra. <laughs> well, you have Angel Daniel. I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. For those of you who have been waiting for that serious relationship, that serious commitment, it's coming in. You have a new, new sense of love, not just for yourself, but for when you feel balanced in your life, everything else just seems to come naturally, right? If you're happy with your situation, it's one blessing after another after another. When you focus on what you don't have, on the lack, well, you're stopping those blessings from coming in. So communicate clearly as to what you want, whether it's that, to your partner, whether it's at that interview you go to, whether it's, you know, friends, family, but especially to yourself. When you speak to yourself with an affirmation tone, right? Do you look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, oh my God, I can't believe I'm going through this again, right? Why does this always have to happen to me? Well, why do you keep asking why it's always happening? Why don't you start acting? Why don't you start doing something? Do something about it. Communicate clearly as to what you want for your present and for your future. Learn from the past. You are leaving that behind and only taking with you the new lessons that you've learned, hopefully, that you've learned, right? So that is your reading, Virgo. I hope that, you know, you have an excellent birthday, a wonderful birthday, that Virgo, scenes, Virgo season finds you happy and healthy. And I wish you the best. Happy birthday, Virgo. Okay, let's get started with Libra. What does Libra have going on? Let's get started with Libra. Libra, what Virgo season angel blessings do we have for Libra? Virgo season, tell me what's going on for Libra this Virgo season. Oh my. A few too many cards flipped over. Let's try this again. Libra. What do we have for Libra during Virgo season? Love it. Big happy changes. Big happy changes. I like the sound of that Libra. What is going on? Big happy changes for Libra. I'm gonna clarify, expand on that with the Crystal Unicorn Tarot deck. Here we go. Libra, big happy changes this Virgo season. If things haven't started changing for you in a much more positive way, they're about to. Let me tell you. Knight of Wands. Are you traveling? Are you making plans to travel? There are some very fiery positive energies coming your way. But let's see what surrounds that Knight of Wands. Let's see what surrounds that Knight of Wands. So. Oh. Too many cards, however, I will show them to you. You have the Nine of Swords, 
the Nine of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So there are a few Libras out here that have been in a situation where either you feel as though you've put in more work than the other person or vice versa. Perhaps you've been waiting for uh, equal give and take. Perhaps you've been, you know, giving too much of yourself and you're feeling exhausted. If this is you, you've given too much of yourself with, without receiving the same or more in return. You're really stressed out about it. You're really hung up about it. It has caused you nightmares. You are feeling exhausted. It's as though you want to say, why am I the one always reaching out? Right? So there's a Libra that's going through that right now. So let's continue to the big happy changes. Knight of Wands. What else is going on here? Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Come on, little unicorns. They're not playing right. <laughs> Come on. Okay, here we go. Knight of Wands, the Fool, the Justice card. Two more, please, for Libra during Virgo season. And those two more just flew out and tumbled. All right. Wow, no wonder big happy changes. You've got a lot of major arcanas here. Now, this did fall sideways. I'm going to read it upright. I will also read it in reverse for those that it applies to. Let me just shuffle this out of the way. Okay, so here we go. Big happy changes for Libras during Virgo season. I like it. I like it. Just you've got these big happy changes that are going to happen right before your birthday. How amazing is that? Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands, the Fool, the Justice card, the Hanged Unicorn, and the Seven of Cups. So I'm going to read it two ways, upright and in reverse. Big happy changes are happening, whether you are traveling, whether there is a message that comes in about a new beginning of some sort. For those of you that are coming out of a divorce, right? So you've you've gone through the proceedings, perhaps your divorce gets finalized. That divorce actually brings about big happy changes because you've been feeling as though you couldn't move forward. And if I read it in reverse, the seven of cups, you've now realized that all these options that were here, you've dwindled them down. You've realized, no, I don't want seven cups. I want one. If I read it upright, you went through this divorce because someone thought that these seven options, these seven different cups were valid options. They thought they were worth ending the marriage, the relationship. But big happy changes comes out of it. And this is really, really, I mean, with you coming out of Mercury retrograde, I feel as though Mercury retrograde was really tough on you if you were going through a divorce, if you're going through a separation. I feel a lot of anxiety for you, Libras. You are almost anxious about having to start all over again when all you've known is this relationship or marriage. But in the end, now that this is going to be finalized, you've come to the conclusion that, you know, I wasn't as happy as I thought I was. I, that relationship or that marriage wasn't as good for me as I thought it was. I was holding on to that for all the wrong reasons. A new beginning is good for me. I feel as though there was a lot of confusion for quite some time. But you knew that doing the right thing by you and communicating what needed to be communicated was going to get you out of this hanged unicorn, hanged man situation. If you are still feeling a sense of confusion by all these different options, you will, you will be able to narrow them down soon. That's what will be happen happening for you during this Virgo season. It is about, you know, finally coming out of Mercury retrograde, having this full moon in Pisces where you might feel a bit emotional about this whole situation. You thought you were getting over it. You thought that you were putting it behind you because the divorce was finalized or it's about to be finalized. 
And for those of you not going through a divorce, but however, it's one of those we live together for a, quite a long time and maybe someone is moving out this weekend or is about to move out next weekend. Maybe you move out of the home that you two shared and you're deciding I need to start a new life for me in a home that that person was never in there with me. It's like a clean slate because I do feel like someone moved out. Look it. That unicorn is holding on to their belongings. They're leaving with the family pet. And they're, I, I just, the way I see this, it's like they finally take that leap of faith towards a new, a new future where you finally do right for yourself. I, I, I want to say this is the carnelian stone that's here in this card. And it is about being bold and courageous enough to do what's right for yourself, to do what's right for your family, to do what you need to do to have that powerful new beginning. What you were in before made you feel as though you were tied and bound to it and you couldn't move forward. This situation or this marriage was really dimming your light. And so you've narrowed down your options, you've narrowed down, you've escaped the confusion in order to move forward with this new beginning. Or for some of you, as you embark on this new beginning, however, big happy changes, remember that is your theme, Virgo season, big happy changes. Now that you are able to take on so many different options, be careful as you go out there. Because I always remind everyone with the Seven of Cups. Do you want a snake in your cup as a viable option? Do you want those jewels? Do you want that unicorn? Do you want the shadow self that's there? Do you want victory and happiness? How many of those cups do you really want? So, as you move on, keep in mind that you should show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Big happy changes. Sometimes we forgot what it was like or we forget what it was like to not be in this partnership. I also feel as though some of you are finally moving in together. Like that was the big leap of faith. It was something that was a long time coming. So appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. So if you are escaping a bad situation, a bad marriage, a bad relationship, and you are starting all over again, you will find your balance. You will do what's right here. You will become enlightened. Don't let the confusion drain you. You have big, happy changes. Trust your intuition in that sense. I'm going to pull an angel message. What kind of angel messages do we have here for Libra before I move on to who's after Libra? Scorpio? Let's see. Let's close out Libra's reading. I think this is a great opportunity for you, Libra, to start again, to start anew. <laughs> this just reinforces that. Angel Caressa says you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. This is very fitting. You have big happy changes, Libra. You finally took that leap of faith. You're traveling towards something new. You're jumping into something new, whether it's moving in with someone or moving away from someone. So appreciate Appreciate this moment. What you're not realizing is that this is a pivotal time in your life during Virgo season. Virgo season brings about very big change, but happy changes. Try not to overthink or stress yourself about these changes because it is new to you. You have not felt this in quite some time. So those were your messages, Libra. I hope that you have these Beautiful, happy changes coming towards you right before birthday season for you, Libras, because Virgo season, as you know, right before, right before Libra season, right before 
Libra season right before Virgo season. So hope that resonated with you all. Let's move on to Scorpio. What can Scorpio expect during Virgo season? What blessings, blessings do you have? What blessings do you have for Scorpios during Virgo season? What blessings do you have for Scorpio during Virgo season? Don't stop. Whatever it is, Scorpio, that you're working on, let me tell you, don't stop. You're on a roll. You're on the right path. Your angels, your guides, they are saying you're on the right track. You're on the right path. Don't stop. If you have felt that you put in too much work into a specific situation that hasn't paid out, I feel as though it's going to pay out big. Let's see. Clarify this. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, see? You feel as though you've put in a lot of work into something. That Seven of Pentacles in reverse just reinforces that. Let, come on. Seriously, I'm just too excited about this because it just reinforced what I just said. If you felt as though you have you know, put in so much work and nothing is paying out. Don't stop. Seven of Pentacles is saying, yes, we acknowledge you've put a lot of work in. You're about to get that payout with that 10 of Pentacles. I love it. I just probably got too excited there <laughs> with the moon card. All right, let's see. Secrets about to be revealed about what's going on here. You know, that that card for so many people say it is the Cancer card or the Pisces card. For me, I've always associated it with the Scorpio. And I feel as though that little lobster critter just kind of reminds, I know it's not a scorpion, but it just kind of reminds me of that. It looks more of a scorpion than a crab, that's for sure. So Scorpio, I feel like that is just calling you out right there, that you've got things coming in for you. Don't stop. This current path is about to pay big dividends. It is absolutely during Virgo season. This is great. Okay, Scorpio. So as I had said, don't stop. You feel as though you've put in a lot of work into something and it just didn't pay out and you're just ready to give up. You're at that point where you're like, oh, I cannot take this anymore. Nothing is working out the way I had anticipated, the way I had expected, the way I had planned. But you know what? That's part of life, Scorpio. Sometimes our plans from point A to point B to point Z just don't pan out the way we expected or the way we, we originally planned it. Because the universe, our angels, our guides, God, they've got other plans for us. And there are lessons every step of the way. Either you learn from them and you move forward or you ignore them and continue that cycle. So don't give up. Don't stop. That seven of pentacles, if it were upright, is you've put in so much work and you're waiting for it to pay out. In reverse, it's time it pays out, especially when it's reinforced by the ten of pentacles. You've reached the top, baby, right? Like ten of pentacles? Oh yeah, yeah. Where my money? right? It's like, I've done all this work. Where's my money? Where's my money? Is it coming to me? You've got this crystal unicorn up in the moon, right? That's just reinforcing the whole situation that selenite needs for you to clear whatever has been holding you back. Clear yourself from it. Don't be afraid to walk down that path just because you got a wolf and a dog here who can possibly stop you. A little lobster, once it comes out of the water and starts moving forward, has no choice but to run, right? But you are being divinely guided down this path. You need to trust that path because the minute you do go down that path, it it's like a bolt of lightning. With that eight of wands, it's fast, fast, fast. Fast forward communication, email, text message, whatever it is. This is how... That full moon in Pisces, how that Mars going direct is just going to light a fire under your ass where that lobster is not going to move slowly. That's you, Scorpio. You're not moving slowly. You're saying to hell with this. I'm moving. I'm moving forward. This needs to pay out. 
I'm done waiting around for answers. I'm moving forward. And with that note, you've, get, you've got love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. You see? So don't doubt yourself. Don't stop. Don't give up. Keep moving forward, Scorpio. You got a great reading for Virgo season. Very, very beautiful blessings from the angels. So let me close out Scorpio reading with a message from the angels. What message, what angel messages do you have for Scorpio? Let's close out Scorpio reading. What message do you have for Scorpio during Virgo season? Angel Athena, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Now, isn't that the reinforcing message that you need here? You've put in a lot of work. You've probably done so much work that you're like, Ugh, why am I even trying? Why am I even bothering? This isn't working out the way I had expected. What is going on here? I don't know what to do. Why am I still putting work into something that hasn't be, been paying out? I give up, right? Does that sound like you, Scorpio? Does that sound like a current situation for you? Let me know if this resonates down below. It is safe for you to be powerful. You have put in a lot of work, damn it. And it's no shame, no shame and no reason for you to be afraid to go in there and say, you know what? I've put in a lot of work here. Fast forward communication. That is the light that Mars direct, that fire that goes under your ass that makes you bolt just like this Knight of Wands unicorn. That's when you say, I'm going for it. That's when that little lobster guy says, I'm going for it. You're being divinely guided. This is happening for you very, very quickly. I know you've put in a lot of steps here to try to get your financial stability, your material home stability here. It's probably been feeling as though you were never going to get to this 10 of Pentacles. Being stuck at that seven of Pentacles for such a long time, Scorpio. But this is the theme for Virgo season for you. Don't stop. They know you've been putting in a lot of work for it. The 10 of Pentacles is one step away. You go from the seven to the 10. Mars Direct is gonna light a fire under your ass. It's gonna make you bolt and jump and do things where everything's gonna come quickly to you. Love who you are. Don't be afraid. Don't cower. Don't underestimate your power. It is safe for you to be powerful here. You could do it without you know, being aggressive, without being confrontational after all the work you've done don't be afraid to own your power scorpio that is your reading for libras i'm sorry not libra well wow, maybe there's a libra that's involved here that is your reading for virgo season perhaps there's a libra out there that's going to help you with this make manifest this this could also be because i'm thinking of the justice card and doing the right thing that this will finally manifest for you Okay, Scorpio, who's next? Let's see. Let's move on to Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, what blessings can you expect during Virgo season? Sagittarius, please, for Virgo season, what is the overall theme? What do you have going on in your life right now, Sagittarius? You're really worried about something, whatever Mercury retrograde may have brought up. Because your angels are saying the situation will improve. So there is something here that you've been worried about. You haven't been able to move forward from. Let's clarify that. Because I feel as though you've been in this darkness. This tunnel. Where you can't seem to fight the, find the light at the end of the tunnel, right? Like It's like one of those where... It's that horrible nightmare situation where you're like, how much more of this do I have to take before I feel as though I'm getting somewhere? Clarify this for Sagittarius, please. Clarify this for Sagittarius. Two 
too many cards. Okay, come on, let's do this again. Well, the situation, of course, it's going to improve Sagittarius. The Wheel of Fortune. The universe is saying, enough of this. We know you've been struggling. We know how you've been feeling. We're going to help move things along the way for you towards wish fulfillment. I love it. The universe is helping you in this situation. If it is in regards to healing a situation, if it is in regards to employment, a new love, or perhaps removing yourself from a situation. Maybe you felt bound to something, something or someone. If you've gone through dark periods, through nightmares, the universe is pushing you out of it and moving you forward where you will finally feel balanced, happy, fulfilled in whatever the universe has for you. Couple more cards for Sagittarius, please. Six of Cups and Four of Cups. So you're feeling as though you missed an opportunity on someone from your past. Someone or something. You missed an opportunity on a promotion. They passed you up. Perhaps you passed up the opportunity to apply for it. Or this is a partner. These two flew out. Yeah, I'm going to take them. The five of wands and the lovers. So this is a situation where you feel as though there was a missed opportunity here in a partnership, in love, in business. But there is something here that has given you a very unsettling feeling. And I feel as though with Mercury retrograde, you have not been able to shake it. And you're just coming out of that right now. You are feeling as though you're coming out of that and you're trying to move forward. Now brace yourself, Sagittarius, because this weekend is full moon in Pisces. You're going to feel very intuitive and very emotional where you're finally going to figure out, was this really a missed opportunity? Was this really a relationship worth fighting over? Or did all you ever did was fight? And so you have held on to this energy from the past for such a long time. Is your wish fulfillment to recover from this relationship of the past? Or to reestablish a relationship with someone from the past? In any case, depending on your situation, the situation will improve. And it will improve. As the universe helps move things forward for, for you and towards wish fulfillment. So let me have a love oracle for Sagittarius here. Let me have love oracle card for Sagittarius. Love oracle for Sagittarius. Okay, be authentic to who you are, Sagittarius. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. So uh, I feel as though, who else had the, something like this? Was it Scorpio or was it Libra? Who perhaps was holding on to something from the past, something or someone. Was it out of comfort? Was it out of routine? I think that was, I don't remember who that was. Okay, so be authentic who you, to who you are. Is there a reason why you want this relationship? Is there a reason why you want to release yourself from this relationship? Really, really know what it is that you want from here, from this relationship. So, Archangel Uriel, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. I want you to do me a favor, Sagittarius. If this is you, unable to move forward, move away from this relationship, 
that you've been holding on to that you know is probably no good for you, but for whatever reason, you can't shake it. You can't release yourself from it. Call unto Archangel Uriel. Call unto him. Take a screenshot. Look up Archangel Uriel prayers. Meditate. Ask for healing. He will help you heal from the past, from what has been toxic, from what has been holding you back. And he will assist you in not only healing and releasing any anger or resentment, but will also prepare you for a positive new beginning. You've got a lot of great things coming for you. Wish fulfillment. The universe is saying it's time. We're going to improve this situation, but you got to be ready. You got to be ready, Sagittarius. Stop thinking that this this uh, this is a missed opportunity from your past. Is it? Is it though? Is it though? Is it a missed opportunity from the past for you or for them? Because maybe maybe they missed out on an opportunity with you. Empower yourself to move towards wish fulfillment. Be authentic to who you are. At some point, did this partnership or relationship feel like? It was a perfect fit and you didn't want to move away from it? Was there room for improvement? That now Archangel Uriel is saying, we showed you what you could have had. There was missed opportunity here, but that's because this wasn't the one for you. This was to prepare you for the bigger love, the bigger partnership that is going to come in. And that, my friend Sagittarius, is going to happen during Virgo season. So be prepared. You've got full moon in Pisces this weekend. You've got Mars going direct. And you got Virgo season. So, lots of changes as you have been getting out of Mercury retrograde. I'm sure you have still been feeling. I'm sure you have still been feeling Mercury retrograde shadow period. Sometimes it is a little bit difficult to continue releasing yourself from Mercury retrograde, especially for those of you that had a really tough time, an emotional time. If Mercury retrograde said, girl or honey, you're not ready for what's coming next. Look at, look at, you're, you're so riled up. You're so angry. You're so full of resentment. We want to give you this loving relationship, this loving partnership, this financial opportunity, but you're not ready for it yet. You got to heal. You got to deal with all of this stuff going on, right? So that was your reading, Sagittarius. I hope this finds you well, Virgo season. Hug a Virgo. <laughs> Love a Virgo. Have a good one. I'm moving on to Capricorn. Here we go, Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect? Uh, this was for someone. Ask your angels in forgiveness. Who, what are you holding on to, Capricorn? Improving health? Okay, let's try this again. What can Capricorn expect during Virgo season? Capricorn, let's see. Not the right time. What is going on with you, Capricorn? Don't make fun of my OCD. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is going on with you, Capricorns? Not the right time this Virgo season. So what I'm feeling for some of you Capricorns is that you've been trying to move forward. Mercury retrograde did a number on you and whoever you were involved with. If you were thinking of cutting certain people off without hearing them out, this isn't the right time. Be informed. Know the whole situation. Know the whole story. If you are trying to move forward with someone, take it slow. Baby steps. If you're trying to leave a job, this is not the right time for you. With the death card, the five of wands, and the two of wands, it's not the right time. Okay, I got to show you these. I was going to just flip them back over because it's too many. The devil card. 
the Four of Swords, and the Tower card. So some of you have been very, very tied down to a very tough situation. Emotionally consuming, draining, mentally, emotionally, and physically draining. You've needed to take a break for for so long because you're stuck in the middle of a toxic home environment. If you were going through a divorce, if you were going through a separation, if you have a toxic person within your home, they are draining the life out of you. Things are falling apart and sometimes we need to let them fall apart. Sometimes we cannot save them. But you can save yourself. So Capricorn, be careful. Need some black tourmaline like in that death card. Not the right time. You've been contemplating on two different paths, two different situations, two relationships. You want to start all over again. Someone is fighting this situation, whether it is you fighting for a new beginning or someone who is fighting you to stop you from this new beginning, right? So you're feeling as though you need to stand your ground. You've been very defensive because this person, what was the title of my... Uh, my general reading for you guys this last month, it was they don't want you to be happy. This just reinforces it as you go into Virgo season. You, you want this opportunity to start all over again. There's a lot of fighting, petty fighting, petty disagreements, petty arguing. You have two paths, two choices to make. Having to choose, having to make this decision, it's weighing on you heavily. It's a burden. Wanting to start over is a burden. How is that? Why is that? You're pushing away the naysayers and you're saying, you know what? You're fighting them. And you're saying, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm done with the situation. I want to be happy. I want to move forward. I don't like this. I need to clarify this because I I've been feeling for quite some time that Capricorn's got some negative Nellies all up in their space. Not the right time. Please clarify not the right time. Because Capricorn deserves a new beginning. Capricorn deserves to be happy. With the death card here, I feel as though that you're still tied to what you've been trying to release yourself from. But you got this beautiful sun in the background waiting for you to keep charging ahead, keep moving forward. There is a lot of petty fighting, petty disagreements. They just want to shut you up and shut, it's okay. It's not the right time, Capricorn. Release yourself from whatever partnership or relationship you are currently in before you start a new one. If you are jumping from one relationship to another without fully healing from the past, you are bringing that same energy into the future. There are things here that will be revealed to your new partner. So is it the right time to throw into your old partner about your new partner and say, you know what? I'm leaving you. I'm leaving this. It's over. I've found me someone new. Remember how vindictive that person is capable of being. Remember how toxic they may be and what can possibly drive them to destroy your future, your happiness. Yes, stand your ground firmly. Put your foot down. Secrets will be revealed. I even feel as though there's lies and manipulation here. Like it might be like something stupid from your past. That's like a minor detail that I wouldn't even think of sharing with someone. However, this partner that you've been trying to cut out of your life, this partner from your past, this ex, is going to manipulate the situation into making you sound very scary to this new person coming in. So essentially you will appear to this new person as this, as, as though you are the toxic person. And I don't know, Capricorn, maybe you are, maybe you're not. But for those of you that are not, this is a very, very heavy and toxic energy around you that you need to release yourself. Oh, dear. 
So in the meantime, the angels are saying, get to know each other. Learning to meet each other's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. So if you are leaving one relationship to move on to a new one, before you say anything to your old partner about moving on with a new partner, be very careful. I believe my last two readings that I posted for you, Capricorn, were about, you know, psycho stalker exes, were about them not wanting you to be happy. Do they need to know everything that's going on in your life? Do they need to know who you're moving on with? Do they? Maybe you two need to heal from the past so that they also can find their own happiness. And if you are going to be spiteful and argue back and feed into that negativity and toxicity by throwing in their face that, yeah, I've got to, I'm dating, I've got a new beginning. What have you got? Nothing but weight, nothing but stress. I'm pushing offers away left and right, but you're so toxic and negative, you don't know what that feels like. If you do that, Capricorn, let me tell you, you just lit the flame. They won't let it go. So be careful. Be very, very careful, Capricorn. I believe I stressed that in the last two readings as well. This person is not going to let up. As we are already in Virgo season, remember this is August uh, 20, what is it, 23rd? August 23rd through September 22nd. So the month ahead. Be very careful. I don't see this person letting up anytime soon. So don't share your love life, your friendships, your relationship. If you have to continue making contact with this person because of children, because of friends, because of families, set up some safe boundaries. Seriously, set up some safe boundaries. If you need legal assistance, if you need legal help, restraining order, whatever it may be, if you feel threatened by them, don't be afraid to do what needs to happen to keep you and your family safe. So let's close out the Capricorn reading here. So the sense I just got right now is that you're leaving one relationship from someone who is toxic, who's really holding on to you, who's not afraid to let you go. You want to go public with this new relationship, but this is not the right time, Capricorn. This person will not only go psycho and crazy on you, but on this new person that they are going to drive this new person away out of your life. It's very evident that this other person is a toxic one, but a new person may or may not want to deal with it. Doesn't mean they'll believe all the negative and manipulative things that your ex is saying. Protect yourself, protect your new partner, protect your family. It is not the right time to go public. You are essentially adding fuel to the fire here. So, what is the final angel message for Capricorn? Please let me have to close out Capricorn. You see, Angel Chantal, new romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. So, if you want this new relationship that you've recently started, perhaps you just met someone and you're already wanting to tell your friends, your family about someone new that you met and you're going through a separation, you're going through, you know, um, a divorce, whatever it may be. Or maybe you're still living with this person and you're talking to your family and friends about how do I get out of this so that I can start something new with this person, this new person. They're amazing. They're awesome. I can't wait to bring them around. It's not the right time. This is something, some things need to be kept to yourself in the meantime, and this is one of them. Okay, Capricorn, so that was your reading for Virgo seasons. Be very weary moving forward here. Be careful. Seek help any which way you may need it. Do not be afraid. If you need to, get a restraining order. If you need to, let the proper authorities in on what is going on. Protect yourself and be careful moving forward. Okay, Capricorn? So after Capricorn, let's see, we've got Capricorn. Is that Aquarius? 
Yeah. Let's move on to Aquarius. Hope I don't miss any signs. What is going on for Aquarius during Virgo season? What angel blessings do we have for Aquarius this Virgo season? Okay. Look for a sign. That is a sign from above. Look at that. It's like lightning struck. But really, that is a very powerful message from the divine. It comes and it enlightens you. That message is being handed to you from above. Look for a sign. It is there. It is waiting for you. And you may notice synchronicities that keep repeating themselves because you are not paying attention to the signs given to you by the universe. You are being divinely guided on changes, on outlooks, on situations in your current state. If you are presented with new options, new opportunities, look for a sign. Some of these opportunities are being offered to you from the divine through people in your surrounding. And some of them carry a warning. So look for a sign. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Nine of Cups. Knight of Wands. Okay, we're graduating. Let's see. One more card, please, for Aquarius. Eight of Wands in reverse. Look for a sign. If this is in regards to finding a stable financial environment, being financially stable within your own finances, within your home. There is a message, perhaps from a fire sign. I see a lot of fire here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius does not have to be. But when I see the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands, I feel as though there's an offer here that's going to be made. And you don't take them seriously in the beginning because, well, they're not very action-oriented. It's like... Look at this page of wands. They've got a wand there, but they don't even have the power to pick it up and carry it with them. And it takes them a while to graduate to that knight of wands. There's too many, you know, missed opportunities here because they're spent in contemplation mode as opposed as taking action. So there is someone here who is trying to help you, who is trying to make wish fulfillment happen for you that will eventually need to jump up Pick up that wand and move forward. This fire sign needs to basically, I mean, excuse my language for those of you that may get offended, but I'm just going to tell it like it is. This fire sign may just need to grab their balls and go with it. Okay, like they've been, they've been trying to hold back from doing certain things, from saying certain things. They want wish fulfillment for you. They know what you want for wish fulfillment. They haven't been making things clear communicatively. It's as though you're just sitting around waiting for this to happen. You've got this big giant pinnacle. You're in a park. You're very, you're, you, I feel as though you're very content with where you are right now. And this person is saying they want to give you more. And you say more? You want to give me more? But you can't even hold that wand. And they come back at you and say, boom, there's my wand. Let's do this. Let's move forward. But their way of doing it gets stalled in the, in the meantime. Because eight of wands in reverse is being stagnant. It's not being able to move forward. Let's clarify this because I'm not liking that eight of wands in reverse. There's some communication that needs to take place that isn't being taken place is that's not happening. You aren't being told the entire story here on how they're going to make things happen. And perhaps you need to look for a sign from the divine as to why that isn't happening. So clarify that eight of wands in reverse, please. And you have the two of wands. So and the four of swords here it is it's not happening for one of two things 
you aren't being told the whole story. So how can you make a decision on these two wands? You've got a lot of fiery energy here. You're not able to make a decision on these two of wands because you're not being told everything that has to go along with it. It's as though they say, hey, take this new opportunity. It's going to pay you big in the long run. But what they don't tell you is you've got to work 20 hours a day and you've got to, you know, run out and do all this footwork where in the end it pays di big dividends in the end. But when you do the math, is it paying big? Is it worth your time or does it come out to pennies to a dollar? Or, pe or, or like less than minimum wage compared to all the time and effort and the stress that you've put into it. So really, really think about why aren't they telling me everything? They want me to make a decision without, without all the information. I feel as though I've gotten this for you in the past, uh, Aquarius. If you are part of my Instagram family that has followed me onto YouTube, comment below because I feel as though this is a message that has been recurring for you for a few times already. I, think, I feel like it's been for a few months. So look for a sign on whether or not you should take this offer, whether you should stay on your current path or take this offer that's being given to you. And look, slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. So you're given this opportunity. You get really excited about it. You get nervous. You're not quite sure as to whether or not this is a real legit offer that you're being given. It's as though they promise you the world, right? They promise you the world. Look at that. They promise you the world without all the necessary information that you need to make this decision. Them jumping up and picking up that wand and bringing it to you, it's not enough for you to make a decision. You want more. You need to see bigger action, bigger results, right, Aquarius? You're like, wait a minute. You want me to make these changes in my life, but why? Why? Why can't you give me more info? What's so top secret about this? What's going on, right? So let's close out Aquarius's reading with an angel message. And you have patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. And that is essentially what you need to do here. Slow down, have the patience to really gather all the information that hasn't been supplied to you at the moment. How can they expect you to make such a big life-changing decision without knowing everything there is to know? about the change you are about to embark on. This is a new adventure, new job, new relationship, new beginning. Be well informed before you take that leap of faith. Be well informed before you take that wand. Because I see you right now as being content. Moving up to the nine of cups in a flash is what someone is promising you. And you're not sure how legit that offer is. You're not sure if you should really take it into consideration. Do what's right by you. If you're good being a queen of pentacles right now, or perhaps someone who is known for being financially stable is assessing the situation for you, listen to them. Make your own decisions, but listen to them. Listen to all sides of this situation. Okay, Aquarius, that was your reading for Virgo season. So let's move on to what's after Aquarius, uh, Pisces. Pisces, what does Pisces have going on during Virgo season? What's going on? What Virgo season blessings can Pisces expect? <laughs> I love it. I asked for what blessings Pisces can expect. You got abundance, baby. I love it. I love it. Abundance. Abundance in all areas of life. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Let's see what is going on here for you, Pisces, during Virgo season. So difficult to shuffle sometimes with my little hands. <laughs> Here we go, abundance. Oh, let's clarify this abundance. I feel as though, yes, new things are coming in for you. Virgo season, Pisces, full moon in Pisces coming up, right? Ace of swords, you're gonna gain some clarity after your emotions as though they didn't kick up enough during Mercury retrograde season. They come back up and yet you have more clarity as they do come back up. With this full moon in Pisces, yes, you're going to feel very intuitive. You're going to come into your own truth as, as to how you can move forward successfully. Look at that. I love it. Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords and Abundance. The moon card, often seen as the Pisces card. You know me, though. I see it as a Scorpio card, however. In this situation, I will apply it to you, Pisces, because I feel as though you are being divinely guided in this situation. You are feeling, you are feeling a sense of clarity coming in after you've released so many pent-up emotions. The death card and the ten of cups came out, but I'm putting them back in. So after you've released so much from Mercury retrograde, and we're still, uh, some of us are still in the shadow period, still feeling it right eight of swords i'll take one more plus we have mars going direct it's going to light a fire under your ass as to how you're going to move forward you've dealt with your emotions and now it's time to put what you've learned towards a new beginning right six of cups so here it is abundance is coming your way emotional financial in all areas of your life you are going to feel happy and balanced you will find clarity i feel as though virgo season is going to be a time of contentment for you you finally realize that you've come a long way you're ready to receive these blessings the moon card i feel with the moon card a lot came out of mercury retrograde that is still lingering that you're still learning from it there may be a where you go back and forth time to time where it still comes back in. Try not to overthink these situations and heal from it. Because I feel as though with the moon card, you are being divinely guided towards a new path, down a new path. However, if you go back to feeling whatever it was that Mercury retrograde brought back up, I hate to say this, but it's like you're, you're crying over spilled milk. And then you have to ask yourself, once you really feel how tied and bound you're feeling. Didn't I deal with this during Mercury retrograde? Why is it still bothering me? It's time to release yourself from it. It really is. It is time for you to release yourself from it. Self-imposed prison, whatever this is from the past that has you feeling as though you cannot move forward, you can. You can. You've got abundance waiting for you, especially with that Nine of Pentacles. Abundance and clarity. You've got big things coming for you this Virgo season. Let me have a love oracle here. So do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. Sometimes we need to distract ourselves from ourselves, right? Does that make sense to some of you? We need to distract ourselves from some of the comments we tell ourselves we can sometimes be our own worst enemies because we are replaying certain situations that we should have been over and done with that we should have put behind us but what the angels are saying here is that stop focusing on what didn't work stop focusing on what you can't release yourself from and do something for someone else it will make you feel better in the end. It will make you feel so much more happier and content knowing that you can do something for someone else. Give positive attention to someone else to release yourself from the negative attention that you've been 
festering that you've been giving yourself. You've been holding on to negative situations from the past. It's like, oh, things are really good right now. But then something that wasn't working out in the past comes to light. And you're like, why am I thinking of this when things are going so good for me right now? Right? And so here is your final message to close it out. Angel Isaiah says, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. So Pisces, there are changes in your life. Abundance is one of them. An opportunity for abundance in all areas of your life, wherever it is that you feel as though you may need it. You are being divinely guided. There will be days where you feel so much clarity. You feel as though you can move forward so victoriously. And then there are days that you're just thinking and overthinking too much about the situations from the past that you haven't fully released yourself from. And you thought you did with Mercury retrograde. But with the moon card and showing me that you are being divinely guided down this path is only telling me that this full moon in Pisces is probably going to bring out some more emotions, some of the same emotions you felt during Mercury retrograde, but there's also a few other emotions for some of you that you did not even deal with during Mercury retrograde. It will help you to release yourself from this self-imposed prison. Take the positive from the past and move forward. It is a good time to give birth to new ideas, as Angel Isaiah has said. And distract yourself from thinking and overthinking about negative situations from your past. I just looked at the time and it said 111. And so this is a very powerful message for you. Distract yourself by do some, doing something for someone else. Give your positive attention to someone else. When we do good for other people, that makes us feel good, right Pisces? Sometimes that's what needs to happen in order for you to move forward and away from negative thinking from the self-sabotage, from certain situations that don't do us good, only harm us and keep us stuck in the past. That was your reading, Pisces, for Virgo season. I hope this finds you well. I hope things work out for you as abundance is coming in. But be sure to release yourself from the past because sometimes when you we hold on to toxic or negative energies from the past, it blocks the abundance from coming in. So Pisces, who's after Pisces? Uh, Aries, I believe. Is it Aries and then Taurus? Well, I hope so. If not, sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to going by element. So let's carry on. This is Virgo season for Aries. Aries, Virgo season. What angel blessings do you have for Aries during Virgo season? That was quick. Y'all must need the blessings. <laughs> helpful people. There is a need for you to seek guidance of helpful people. You may also have helpful people around you that you are choosing not to seek help from. Sometimes Aries, you want to do everything your way. Sometimes you think that you have all the answers and no one else can possibly understand the situation that you're in or no one can possibly give you the guidance that you need because you know yourself the best, which is true, Aries, absolutely true. But when you take on big tasks, big things, there is the need for helpful people to come in and there is nothing wrong with you seeking the help of, help, the help <laughs> of helpful people, whatever your situation may be. Let's clarify. Helpful people for Aries. Starting something new. King of Cups. If there is a water sign that you've been thinking of starting a new life with. There's your card, Aries. The Emperor. So. You've, contemplating, you've been contemplating starting something new. Perhaps there is a King of Cups that is offering something to you towards the future or whether it's an emotional relationship, a job opportunity, a new situation. Yeah. 
you feel as though they are not stable enough as you are, right? You feel like as though you need to take control of this situation. And I feel as though this two of wands has caused confusion. There's a page of pentacles here. So if this is about, we're going to do both things, love and money, right? So Aries, if you have a king of cups, unless you have water in your chart, this could be you. Or someone who you know to be a bit emotional. They live their life as though... Sorry, I'm apologizing to you water signs, but there are some King of Cups out there that have constant waves of emotions in their life. Drama, up and down. It's almost as though they can't escape it. If you have been dealing current or past with a King of Cups, you are feeling as though, you know what? It's time to release myself from this. I'm taking back control of my life. I have to choose whether or not I want to continue this path with this King of Cups or do I start something new with someone else? Perhaps you are done with this relationship or friendship and you're looking towards focusing on your career. At the same time, I feel as though you're having a really hard time breaking away from this King of Cups. You know what you need to do that's best for you. However, I feel as though you're contemplating and overthinking the situation. This is the perfect example of why you would need helpful people, Aries. Yes, you know yourself the best. Yes, you know that the decisions you will make are for your best interest. However, I do feel that there are a few Aries here that can't seem to decide, do I go the financial route and end this love relationship or friendship or partnership? Or do I begin this new financial opportunity, a business venture? Because I feel as though for some of you, you will have a king of cups that perhaps is in a relationship that you're in a relationship with or a friendship, someone who may be close to you, but you don't see them as very stable. You feel as though you're going to take on the burden of this financial new beginning should you choose to go into business together, which if that is the case, if that is the situation where they've brought about this great financial opportunity, but you don't see them as someone who's very steady in their actions, in their words, and you know you're a lot more grounded than they are. And you're wondering, can I take on this financial opportunity without them? This is when, if you choose to go to business, go, you know, start a business with them, you choose the help, you seek the help of helpful people. Do you need an accountant? Do you need an attorney? Do you need a notary public? Whoever it may be, right? It's about taking charge of what you want for your life. I feel as though you have underestimated this King of Cups quite a bit with reason for some of you. For others of you, Aries, I feel as though you are starting something new without them. You're leaving them behind. You're turning your back on that King of Cups saying, you know what? I'm taking action in my life. I've got these two great opportunities in career and both of them take me away from you. Don't be mad. Don't hate. I got to do what's right. I got to do what I got to do for myself. And you and I aren't going anywhere. So remember, Aries, you are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do, which just ties everything in here perfectly, right? You are limitless. If you have been in a friendship, partnership, relationship that you feel has kind of held you back just a little bit and you are now being presented with new opportunities, a new home, perhaps your job moves you away somewhere, new financial opportunities that have you traveling, less time with this King of Cups, but an opportunity to succeed in your own right. Why let someone hold you back? I don't know a single Aries that would allow that to happen. 
So why are you overthinking this two of wands and which path to take? Are you afraid of how they'll retaliate because you chose? Because you chose a financial opportunity over something with them? Perhaps they thought you would take them along and you chose to go on to this path without them. So to close out your, your reading, Aries, you have Angel Zana. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. So whatever it was that has worried you about moving forward with or without this King of Cups, with or without this emotional partner, remember it doesn't have to be water sign as this is a general reading. But the King of Cups is an emotional partner. Someone you are tied to emotionally in love or friendship. Just remember to seek the help of helpful people in your decision making. You are limitless. You've gone through the worst now and it's not time for you to move forward. Help yourself move forward. Sometimes the decisions that are or the options that are there for us are there for us for a reason. That was your reading Aries. I hope Virgo season finds you happy and healthy and you have got a very important decision to make. Don't be afraid to do what's right for yourself. Okay, Aries, that was your reading. Let's move on to who's after Aries, Taurus. Taurus, what does Taurus have going on during Virgo season? Taurus, during Virgo season. Okay, here we go. What angel blessings do you have for Taurus during Virgo season? Sorry about that, guys. That moved a little too much. So, meditation brings answers. Taurus, what are you worried about? Oh, I feel a sense of worry, anxiety, stress. I feel as though some Tauruses here are very, very worried about something, about their future, about their relationship, what to do next. Whatever plans they may have had are, not, are now no longer panning out the way they anticipated. <laughs> exactly what I just said with the chariot and the five of cups. You had plans on moving forward in a situation or a particular place or point in your life. You had specific plans. However, you're crying over spilled milk here with the Five of Cups. Things did not work out the way you wanted to. And rather than your sphinxes here moving ahead, they've kind of taken a break and left you standing by, not being able to move forward. However, the magician here is saying once you do meditate and bring about the answers that you need in relation to your job, your money, what you've put a lot of work into. You can and will manifest the future that you want. And if this has to do with a love relationship, because I have the lovers and the justice card, I feel as though some of you Taurus who need to put a final separation between you and an old partner or a current partner, it's time that it takes place. It's time for a legal situation to unfold. It's time for you to do the right thing. If you know that there is a legal issue that needs to take place, do it. Stop thinking about what didn't work out and start manifesting what you do want to work out. The Eight of Pentacles says you've done the majority of the footwork here, but you found yourself very guarded, especially when it comes to money. So if it's for some of you who have a partner or an ex-partner who's trying to take you to the cleaners, trying to take all your money, you're trying to be very guarded. The magician is saying you can make the future that you want happen. Meditation brings answers. You want to charge ahead, but you keep falling back on the issues from the past. That Five of Cups energy 
is what's stopping you from charging ahead fearlessly. So if you want to move forward onto something new and make changes in your life, the magician card says, yeah, it's okay. We know you need to start in step one again. But this time around, we're giving you all the tools and all the knowledge that you need to make this happen. We've seen that you know how to do the work. Now it's time to protect yourself financially, protect yourself from those bad people around you that you've been harping on emotionally. Because there are people here that have hurt you, that have essentially put a stop to your plans. You want to move forward and you are able to when you get out of your head because you're replaying the same negative emotions over and over again. So take a chance on love, Taurus. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Here you are, Taurus. You're looping that five of cups energy over and over again, right? It's like, it's almost as though you can't get yourself away from it. It stops you from taking a chance on a new love. It stops you from charging ahead victoriously when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your home. Meditation brings answers. Get to the bottom of why you haven't been able to move forward. Get to the bottom of why you keep repeating this five of cups energy. Because you need to heal from it. And love makes a difference. If you have a new, a new love relationship, partner, friendship that can help you heal and move forward is that someone you feel that the need to block yourself from to protect yourself from or is it the five of cups energy that you're trying to protect yourself from because this unicorn is looking towards the past they're not protecting themselves from the future they're trying to move ahead while keeping an eye on their back they got to watch their back from someone from the past that's how i see it that's the five of cups energy. The minute that you need to have this sense of urgency to watch your back is when you go back to, God, am I going to live the rest of my life this way? Always watching my back? When will it be my time to move forward? When I've done so much work, continue healing. You are being given all the tools, all the knowledge that you need to move forward victoriously, to manifest the future that you want. Take a chance on love. Love makes the difference. Meditation brings answers. That is your theme for Virgo season. Now let's close out your reading here with a message from the angels. Taurus, what message do we have for Taurus this Virgo season? That came out quickly. Wow, I love this. Here we go. Angel Serafina. I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Now with the justice and the lover's card that flipped over earlier, I have to say that for some of you that have finally separated or divorced from a toxic energy, a toxic environment, it is helping you to move forward. With Angel Serafina here, it will help you heal everything that needs to be healed within this relationship that did not work, this marriage, in order for you to move forward on whatever may be waiting for you in your future. And you can make that happen. Starting something new with someone new after coming out of a bad relationship, you have to heal first. This person may be the person to help you heal. Love yourself. Don't be afraid of what your future brings. I get you need to watch your back from from the past. Don't let them suck you into that emotionally destructive energy. You have the chariot card and the magician card. Both speak of moving forward, manifesting, and being ultimately successful in that within that energy. Taurus, that was your reading for Virgo season. Whoops, there goes that heart. For Virgo season. Let's see, who is after Taurus? Is that Gemini? Gemini, Taurus, I believe it's Gemini, yeah. Okay, so Gemini, what do we have going on for Gemini during Virgo season? What can Gemini expect during Virgo season? What blessings? Let's 
let's move on to Gemini. What can Gemini expect during Virgo season? What angel blessings do we have during Virgo season for Gemini? Okay, that was quick. Let go. So if you've made a very bad decision and you are suffering the consequences of this bad decision, it's time to let it go. What's done is done. Mistakes from the past. You need to learn from them and continue moving forward. If you need to heal from it, heal and move forward. Clarify the let go card for Gemini. This is your underlying energy for Virgo season is to let go. What does Gemini need to let go of? The moon. King of Swords. The Hierophant. Two more cards, please, for Gemini. The Hanged Man or the Hanged Unicorn in this deck. So Gemini, if there are things that you have not been sharing with anyone that you've kept to yourself, inner turmoil, emotional instability. For some, I feel as though there's health problems that you have not been sharing with your family. They are unaware of what you've been going through. You're not quite sure how to share this information. You're afraid of their reaction. You need to let go of that reaction. You need to let go from your perceptions of how others will react. Okay? For others of you Geminis, I do feel that there is some secrecy here that involve all Geminis. However, before some of you start saying, not me, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not saying you're being deceptive. I'm not saying, although, you know, you know who you are if you are being deceptive. What I'm saying is the secrets can be as something as simple as I haven't been able to move forward from whatever the situation is, whether it was a health scare, whether it was a job loss, whether it was childhood trauma, a traumatic situation in your life. I just got PTSD for some of you because I see this judgment card as something being replayed as though a memory from the past is resurrected and it's consistently replayed. You're not telling someone that you're suffering from this. And it has you essentially stuck because you don't know how to move forward. You don't know if someone wants to move forward with you once you say this. You don't know who will be there for you when you speak of this. Some of you are holding on to some really deep wounds from your past that you haven't shared with anyone. Abuse, trauma. Please seek the professional help that you need if this is you. I get the sense that you are trying so hard to give the appearance of everything is okay. However, deep inside, it's not okay. You have four major arcanas, the moon card, the hierophant, the hanged man, which is the hanged unicorn here, and the judgment card. And that's you, king of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It is time to let go of this outer perception that you are giving people as though everything is okay nothing is wrong stop lying Gemini 
I get you're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to protect others. If you are suffering from PTSD, the VA can help you. If you are, you know, if you are a veteran, if you were in the armed services, for those of you in the United States, because I know I have a lot of you out of, outside of the United States as well. I'm not quite sure for those of you out of the US. I do feel a heaviness for you, Gemini, but it's time to let go of that heaviness. You've put on a show for far too long. That's what I'm feeling. You've put on a show for far too long. You're putting on this show like, hey, everything's okay. You've got an audience here. But inside you're like, everything is not okay. I've got shit replaying in my mind. I'm worrying over worrying over worrying. And the only thing I can show people is how balanced, air quotes, right? How balanced I am. And you know for damn well, Gemini, you're not. Not all of you. I know this is a general reading. It's time to let go of what's holding you back. Seek professional help to break through these barriers. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Don't you think that those that you love that are around you would want to know this inner turmoil that you're suffering? Don't you think that this would help them understand certain situations in your life, certain reactions you've given. So if you're telling yourself no one will understand, Gemini, stop, stop. If Let it go. If you're telling yourself no one's going to understand, no one's going to help me, you're talking pretty down to yourself, pretty negatively to yourself. You're discouraging yourself, Gemini. Let it go. Let it go. Don't you think that those that love you, that are around you, would want to help you? Stop talking yourself out of admitting what's really going on, right? So here it is. Let me have an angel message to close out Gemini's reading. What angel message do you have? What angel message? Ooh, I know I'm on point with this one. I am feeling really nauseous with you guys. Whatever it is makes you almost sick to your stomach with worry and anxiety. And you have put up a front for so, so long that it's almost natural. You lie awake at night trying to figure out how you can continue putting up how much longer you can continue putting up this facade of everything is okay. Gemini, stop. Let it go. Get the help that you need. All right, let's close out this reading for Gemini. Angels, Grace and Antoinette. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion and vice versa, right? Are you afraid that they won't be open to you in a compassionate way? Gemini, come on now. You really need to allow other people to help you. I feel as though you are very closed off to them. You have people in your life that love you, that want the best for you, and you're not allowing them to help you. You're not allowing to, them to assist you in any way, shape, or form. You need to cut that out, really. You're stressing yourself and you're worrying yourself more. And because you are feeling so stressed out and worried, it's almost as though you don't want to share that with anyone else because you're afraid to worry them, right? So that was your reading, Gemini. I hope that this Virgo season allows you to come to a much clearer path to let go of what does not serve you and to heal from it. 
after Gemini, we have Cancer, I believe. Cancer. What does Cancer have going on this Virgo season? What angel blessings do we have for Cancer during Virgo season? Improving health. Improving health. So, Cancer. Mental health, emotional health, physical health. There is a situation here for someone who they're ignoring needing to see a doctor. Because some days are better than others. Some days you feel like, oh, it's not that bad. And you've grown accustomed to not being your 100% best. You need to see a doctor. Because for some of you, it's not as serious as you're thinking it is. And you're ignoring it. But it can turn into something worse. Right? Better to be safe than sorry. For those of you that have been overwhelmed and stressed out at work, at home, the situation will be improving for you. If you need to take a mental health day, a day of rest, to really think about things, to really slow down as to the choices that you have been making that perhaps have made you feel imbalanced, take a mental health break, take a day off, go for a walk, go for a hike, go play golf. Just go for a drive, take off for the day. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Fool. Okay, so we end this with new beginnings. Why? Because I bet you this improving health situation isn't as bad as you've been thinking it is. You have convinced yourself almost as though as whatever health issues you think it is, Dr. Google, right? Turns out that it's not that situation. And so you have a sense of being able to start over again. New beginnings. Yes, take a break to clear yourself. If you are in a partnership or a relationship and you have been ignoring going to see a doctor and you haven't been telling them. Or maybe they're very concerned and worried about you. And if you're the breadwinner of the family... You feel as though you don't have time to see a doctor. You need to keep moving. You need to keep going. You might even be defensive in terms of your partner getting on you to go see a doctor. If you're feeling stressed out at home, at work, a new opportunity will be presented to you. But stand your ground and really decide, do you want this new opportunity? Is this going to further the stress that you've been feeling? Or will this be... A brand new beginning where you'll feel lighter where you can essentially create the future that you want so slow down in these decisions that you're making temper yourself find your balance take a break and really think about what needs to happen spend some quality time together it is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with listening and talking to each other so if you've been really stressed out, if you haven't been able to really connect with your partner, you've been overworking yourself, you're doing this because, you know, financially you're trying to get ahead, you're trying to find balance, you feel overwhelmed, there is a, there is a need to clear yourself, find balance, take some time off to really, really improve your health, your outlook, your life, your current state in your marriage, relationship, friendships, family. And if it means starting over again from the bottom, so be it. Right, Cancer? So your angel message to close out this reading is Francesca, Angel Francesca. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So... Be very careful of the way you are thinking, speaking, 
and moving in terms of decisions with what you have been telling yourself here. Sometimes we make rash decisions when we're stressed out. Either we're making hasty decisions, either we're jumping too quickly or not enough or not quick enough. If someone had presented to you that there is a position at work, a possible promotion that's going to come up and you're saying that position is mine, I'm going to show them, I'm going to work my ass off, they're going to offer it to me, you're going to burn yourself out, Cancer. You really are. Slow your roll. That's all I'm saying. Slow your roll. Don't forget about the partner that's with you. Spend time together and really visualize what it is that you want. And release yourself from whatever negative blocks have been blocking you. Okay, Cancer, that was your reading for Virgo season. I hope you take some time for yourself to really, really heal yourself from whatever stress or health issues that you've been suffering. I do feel as though some of you have major burnout. You've overworked yourself. You're exhausted. You've taken two, three days off and you're, you can't even come back from it. That's how bad things have gotten for you, Cancer. Be careful with that energy. It can create, it can cause other health problems. So let's move on. Let's see who's after Cancer. I hope I didn't skip anyone. We will finish this reading with Leo. What is up with Leo? Just finished Leo season. Now on to Virgo season. What angel blessings do we have for Leo during Virgo season? Okay, give me a card for Leo, please. What is the overall theme for Leos during Virgo season? The answer is yes. Yes, Leo. Yes. If you were making some big changes in your life during your season, you were feeling empowered. You were saying, this is my time, Leo season. You're taking that momentum with you as you get out of Mercury retrograde and the shadow period. As Mars goes direct and lights a fire under your ass and says, yes, we are making big life changes. Yes. We are moving forward. Yes, we've got abundance coming to us. Yes, wish fulfillment. Let's clarify this yes card. What does Leo have going on during Virgo season? Okay, judgment. The moon. Quite a few signs had more than one uh, major arcana. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Okay, forward movement. You have an opportunity here to really, really take action. If you felt as though things didn't work out the way they were originally intended to work out in your mind anyway, because you had specific plans. Look at that, Queen of Swords. Okay. So, yes to a new opportunity. Yes to moving forward on this path. You've put in a lot of work here. And after putting all this work in, you say, you know what? I'm going to pluck these pentacles and I'm moving forward. We've got, we're moving on. We're climbing up that mountain. We're going up that hill onto bigger and better. I'm going to take on that throne. Queen of Swords. So for some of you Leos, this is a second opportunity at something. Friendship, relationship, partnership, business, finance, something at work. You've put in a lot of work towards this. And it's finally going to pay out. You need to be careful though, because I don't see the Queen of Wands here at the end. I see the Queen of Swords, which means at the end of the day, 
there's going to be a touch of bitterness as to the fact that you had to go through this, through such a long course, such a long situation. You had to fight for this. You had to keep moving forward despite all the negative naysayers. You had to start all over again. There were people that were trying to stop you. However, divinely guided, you are moving forward. You've put the work in. The universe is saying, yes, this is your time now. Keep moving forward. Keep climbing that mountain. However, when you reach that top of the mountain, try not to be that queen of swords. Try to be someone who is feeling more accomplished in everything that they've had to go through as opposed to trying to, I feel almost as though as you're moving forward in spite of someone, you've grown frustrated with someone or something because you're feeling as though they've held you back. The situation has held you back. But now is the time to move forward. But get out of this Queen of Swords energy at the end. You don't want to come off like a bitch. Like, hmm, I know you try to stop me. I know you try to say bad things about me. But guess what? The universe still gave me another opportunity. Peace out. I'm doing me. I got my throne. I mean, I can't tell you what to do. But, you know, you can own your throne without having to have that touch of you know, negativity at the end. And so Leo, your love oracle is have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So if your relationship took a toll because you went through this very stressful situation that you thought you were never going to be able to get out of it, you thought, why am, are, my, are my plans not working out the way I wanted to? Why am I not getting wish fulfillment? And your relationship suffered because of the stress you were at, you were under to make this happen. Well, now that this is your opportunity to make this happen, you have a new beginning here. So have patience, reconnect with your partner. And we close out this reading for you with a message from Angel Caressa. You are at, you are at the end of a life cycle of us. I'm um, sorry. This has been a very long reading. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you. Leo, this has been an excellent reading for you. You get an opportunity, a chance, a do-over to make this happen, something that was not able to manifest the first time around. If people try to stop this from happening, it doesn't matter. You're still going to own this path of yours. It is being divinely presented to you. Just soften up a little when you get to the top of that mountain, okay? You are closing out one life cycle and starting a new one. So those are your angel blessings, Leo. Thank you very much for all your support. If this resonated with you, give me a thumbs up, comment, like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.